Avara Foods is a poultry producer which formed in 2018 as a joint venture between Facenda Foods and Cargill. They are the third largest poultry producer in the UK and produce four and a half million chickens and turkeys every single week. They supply some of the UK's most popular chains such as Nando's, Asda, Morrison's, Sainsbury's, and most notably, Tesco. If you were to have a little scroll through Avara's website, you'd see statements like, we are committed to protecting the health and well-being of the animals in our care. All of our sites are red tractor assured as a minimum and subject to high standards and regular audits. We employ and work with professional, experienced farm teams and provide them with the training and support they need to look after their birds. We are able to trace each product back to its root. We're proud to have some of the most experienced, knowledgeable and passionate farming teams in the business. We want to ensure our customers have full confidence in us, confidence in our products, confidence in our processes. Interesting. Now, do Avara Foods really live up to what their clever PR pitches portray? Or are they just like every other animal product supplier, where what they say on paper and in their advertisements and what actually happens in reality are so far detached from each other that it defies belief? What you're about to see is what I found when I stumbled across a Navara turkey farm a few days before Christmas. Please watch till the end. Looks like they may have been unloading here, so I'm not sure what we're gonna find here, but I have to give it a go. This is the fifth place that I've tried to access, I'm trying to expose the turkey industry before Christmas. This place completely emptied out. Look at the size of it emptied out for Christmas. All these birds are all gas chambered by now, murdered. Little feathers there. All right, look at this. As you can see down here, there's blood everywhere. They've been uh, culling turkeys in here. I'm gonna go check this bin over here. As you can see, there's a blue outline of a turkey who's been spray painted on this floor here. The reason for this will become apparent very shortly. All right, so this is a murder scene here. Absolute murder scene, it's disgusting. It's a torture chamber. They've been slaughtering innocent birds here for Christmas. All right, so I just found this bin down the side of this turkey farm. I'm gonna open it up and have a look inside. Okay. There's a bunch of dead birds in here. What did they do to this bird? Look, they have hacked this bird up. Oh, that's his arm, dude. Oh. That's the wing is completely torn off. Oh my God. The, the wing is completely torn off. Uh, only a human could do that to the bird. I mean, maybe the bird was uh, pecked by other birds and then culled, but to see the bird shredded in half like this, this is, brutal um who knows what happened when they were catching these birds to to send them to slaughter because a lot of the, these sheds are empty maybe there was an injury happened they just snapped these their necks and throw them in this bin it's sickening these are fresh dead birds culled by this farmer here the stench here smells like pure death and this is what happens every christmas all throughout the year but more on more so on christmas time look i don't know how people can still eat birds after seeing something like this intelligent, beautiful animals. It's a morgue in here. So after scrubbing up and putting on protective gear, that's when I saw it, the Avara food sign. Amongst other things, these charts show how many birds are in the barn, their reasons for culling, and their mortality rate. It looks like there's about 10,000 birds in here. And uh, this is actually an Avara shed. Avara Foods. Sounds familiar, that name, Avara. This is yeah. one of the biggest turkey slaughterhouses in the country? Uh, yeah, it's probably one of the top three, yeah. They come from uh, red tractor farms here. Do you have a, a welfare standard you, you will only kill at? Yep. Red tractor's the minimum? Yep. I was just at an Avara slaughterhouse in Scropton the other day. 
one of the security guards said to me, the welfare on this place is the highest I've ever seen. And but it wouldn't turn you off eating turkeys working here, smelling. No, no, no. I'm, the welfare on this site is, is the best. Like, best I've in the world? Seen, so. Best you've ever seen? The best I've ever seen is um, if I've been part of this industry. Okay. Do you, you obviously don't see the welfare on the farms though, because you, you're no, not there. No, I, I don't have anything to do with that. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, interesting. Wow, really, really good welfare, Evara. So this farm was more disgusting than I expected. Of all the farms I've been to, this one was the filthiest. There were turkeys covered in feces. This bird here is covered in crap. Dirty, dirty. Look, people eat these birds. Crap all over them. And the floors and walls were splattered with diarrhea. Look at that dude, look at all this shit. He's a boy. Usually they would have be presenting feathers at the back there, but he doesn't have anything back there, does he? They can't even exhibit their natural behaviors in here. Another face here. The animals look pale and anemic. Their faces looked sad and disturbed. As you can see here, this turkey is injured very badly. There's blood, blood all down the side here. Very, very bad. Feces all over these birds. Oh. I saw turkeys with large scabs, bloodied body parts, and various other injuries. Another scab on the back of this bird here, see? Some type of injury on the side of this bird here. That's disgusting, man. Why on earth weren't these birds being treated at a vet clinic? To think that these birds are being grown to be slaughtered so people can have a celebration? How sickening. For Christmas? I saw limping turkeys whose legs could not support the overgrown bodies the industry has selectively bred them into. They are literally stuck inside bodies that fail them. And they suffer their entire lives because of it. Also humans can get the maximum yield of flesh to eat at Christmas time. There was a bird with what looked like dislocated hips from carrying the weight of her oversized frame. I can't imagine the agony she was in. I saw birds who could no longer support their body weight and had fallen down and could not get back up. What's going on with this bird here? This bird is injured. She can't get up. These are the type of birds Avara is slaughtering for Christmas. This bird here can't even stand up. Completely immobile. Another one had collapsed and another turkey stepped on her neck. This will mean certain death for birds like this, as they cannot get to food and water. And if the other birds don't peck them to death, the farmer will either cull them and throw them in the bin with the others, or it's not all that uncommon for birds to be thrown into the slaughter truck like this. And then I saw her. She was in some of the worst condition I've ever seen. Dude. Alright, so just down next to me, this poor turkey is severely injured, cannot stand up. 
Oh my god. I could almost guarantee you that when the farmer finds this turkey, he's going to either snap their neck or bolt gun them in the head and chuck them in that dead bin. They won't try to offer this bird any veterinary help. They'll just cull the bird. This, this bird is suffering really badly. Like you can see in their face, wait, look at this. How awful. Do you see how the difference between what I will tell you and what the turkey industry will tell you? Two different stories. We show you the reality. Obviously, I'm in here with a camera right now. You've seen on the wall there, this is a Navara farm. We show you the reality and the turkey industry tell you what you want to hear, which is like, oh yeah, it's all humane, it's all fine and dandy, you know? All right, here we go. There's a dead bird here on the ground. There were also corpses of birds who had slowly suffered to death on the floor, being trampled on by other birds. Walking over the dead there, see? These poor birds are living amongst the dead. Look at this, there's a turkey standing on top of a dead turkey in a Navara farm right before Christmas. These birds are ready to be slaughtered. They're at slaughter weight. They talk about diseases coming out of these farms and look at this, feces, dead birds, injured birds, disgusting. These festering dead bodies are left rotting inside a shed with thousands of other animals. Is this not a risk for spreading disease? Yeah, so this place here is uh, growing Christmas turkeys for people. I was absolutely shocked by the appalling state of the turkeys we found here. It reeks to high hell in here. How many more farms were like this? How many more birds are suffering in silence behind closed barn doors? And does this look like the spirit of Christmas to you? This is what Christmas Day and every other day is like for these sensitive, conscious beings. God, if this is what Christmas is supposed to be like, I don't want anything to do with it. What's your Christmas look like this year? Will you celebrate with their severed body parts on your table? Avara Foods speak highly of the animal welfare on their farms and slaughterhouses, but as you've seen here, the reality is much different. And this isn't the first time Avara Foods has been exposed for the cruelty on their farms. And I want to be very clear, this isn't just about Avara, as it's become very apparent after years of consistent exposés by investigators all around the world that all producers of animal products mislead the public about what's truly behind the label. After all, they are salespeople at the end of the day. But along with selling violence, cruelty and death, they also like to sell you a fairy tale that animals are raised well and put to sleep humanely. But of course, that's all just clever marketing. Believing in humane animal farming is like believing in Santa Claus. You eventually find out it was all a lie. Let's end this nightmare for animals and live consistently with the spirit of Christmas by choosing vegan. Thank you. So this is Christmas. Well,